Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sophia Sali Malik, Senior Consultant Pulmonologist from SUT Hospital, Pattam. I will be talking about COPD with special regards to men's health. And uh, uh, COPD is projected as a third major cause of death by the WHO. And hence, we will be talking about this deadly disease. And uh, this uh, COPD is, a, is an acronym for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. It is a chronic disease that... Uh, that affects the lungs and the airways. It is of two types. It is uh, um, one is chronic bronchitis and the second is emphysema. Chronic bronchitis type is a type which is characterized by uh, inflammatory changes in the airways, and uh, so and uh, it is associated with chronic cough and as well as uh, phlegm. And uh, so it is uh, uh, not surprising that it it will be causing a, a so much distress to the patient with this chronic cough and the second type is emphysema emphysema is uh, is uh, is caused by the involvement of terminal airways as well as the alveoli and uh, this uh, condition and causes uh, 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 the lungs to uh, uh, to be uh, inefficient to carry oxygen uh, or to uh, in, ox in uh, inefficiency of the lungs to supply oxygen to the whole body. Here in emphysema, the individual alveoli becomes dilated so that and it becomes swollen because it loses its elasticity due to chronic inflammation. So so that the lungs become so large uh, and uh, it is it, dif it becomes difficult for the patient to breathe. Also. So uh, next I'll be talking about uh, the uh, causes or the etiological factors of COPD. It, uh, uh, COPD being a chronic disease, any chronic exposure or chronic uh, noxious substance which uh, irritates the airway is a cause of COPD. So more, first and foremost cause is smoking. And uh, smoking is projected as an important cause of etiological factor for COPD in developed countries. But in uh, middle and uh, low income countries, smoking is uh, still, uh, uh, it, it comes uh, as a second or third major cause. First and uh, major cause projected for the uh, developed and developing countries is uh, is uh, air pollution, as well as uh, exposure to household smokes, and my various occupational exposures. So, and uh, in 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 context of our country, uh, we can say, and uh, because uh, smoking is an is rising uh, 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 is rising among the young population as well as. Um, and uh, um, increase in uh, um, the lifestyle, a change in lifestyle of the people, and uh, increase in quality of life. Uh, smoking is still is, is an important fa factor uh, which contributes to uh, development of COPD. And uh, but uh, still other factors like in uh, when we see uh, go to the village areas, uh, the uh, domestic smoke and uh, and the uh, household fields which are used to warm the house is an important cause for COPD. So what are the symptoms of COPD? Symptoms, what, what does the patient feel? Uh, the symptoms are uh, difficulty in breathing. One feels uh, uh, the, the difficulty in breathing uh, may range from uh, mild difficulty, that is uh, when climbing flight of stairs and all. And uh, to, uh, to an extent that patient cannot leave the home uh, without a support. In that is uh, comes under severe COPD. So COPD is mild, moderate, and severe COPD. Mild COPD, the patient can uh, has mild symptoms. He can carry on it uh, with his day-to-day -day works with difficulty. Moderate COPD is is uh, uh, is uh, in the uh, is a condition where the patient has difficult to do his day-to-day -day works. And uh, in severe COPD, patients has uh, recurrent exacerbations also, recurrent worsening of symptoms, which we call as exacerbations. And uh, so, how to diagnose and treat COPD? So, when any anyone has uh, such symptoms like uh, chronic uh, breathing difficulty uh, and a continuous cough and all, uh, we uh, and uh, with the symptoms which are suggestive of COPD, they should definitely consult a pulmonologist. And uh, what uh, the first and foremost. Uh, uh, the treatment is uh, avoidance of exposure to risk factors. First and foremost, if the patient is, is a smoker, he should quit smoking. 
and the second is ex, uh, is avoidance of exposure to other risk factors if the patient is, the person is living in a polluted area he has to avoid going out in the in peak times and uh, and also one has to use other protective measures like a mask and uh, household uh, pollution household indoor pollution can be uh, uh, can be avoided by using air purifiers and good ventilation techniques at home and uh, and uh, lastly when when we come for diagnosis of copd diagnosis uh, based on the symptoms and history of exposure to risk factors and also when the patient has this risk factors and symptoms the and the doctor will do a chest x ray and spirometry and uh, if, if uh, a patient is suspected to have emphysema and um, and the doctor will suggest a hrct scan also and uh, the coming to the treatment part the treatment is uh, uh, since uh, this is a, a chronic disease and it is not a curable disease but the symptoms can be uh, controlled to a certain extent and the progression of with proper treatment the progression of disease can be also be halted to a certain extent and uh, so first and foremost medical treatment is is uh, using of inhalers inhaler medications which are uh, which help to uh, reduce inflammation in the airways and uh, so that the, the patient get relief of symptoms and uh, he can do his day to day activities and uh, if the when the when the pa patient has moderate to severe copd the patient will be uh, be very breathless and uh, most of the time the patient uh, will not uh, may not even be able to go get out of the house in such uh, conditions the patient may need uh, oxygen support and also uh, um, uh, home ventilator support and all and uh, and the most important thing is uh, in in such patients is pulmonary rehabilitation rehabilitation is a uh, pulmonary rehabilitation is a structured exercise program and which increase the endurance of the respiratory muscles and help the patient uh, a lot to adapt to his day to day life and the uh, most important thing with when we where we cons uh, consider to be considered while talking about this chronic diseases is to get va the uh, proper vaccinations against uh, flu and uh, pneumonia so that uh, the the exacerbations the infective exacerbations from this disease can be avoided so the first and uh, foremost uh, thing we have to bear in mind is if the if one has any symptoms suggestive of copd uh, they have to consult the uh, respiratory uh, uh, physician um, as soon as possible to get himself diagnosed and to initiate early treatment so that the progression of disease can be prevented thank you